Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing an 8-point USB 3.0 hub and you guys are currently watching Creerly. today's episode, we're reviewing a USB 3.0 hub from the company at Tola. And this is actually a very unique USB 3.0 hub because not only does it have four that are USB 3.0 ports, it has three that are USB 3.0 ports, and it also has one port that is smart charging that you can use to quickly charge up your device. So there's a lot of different ports and features that this USB 3.0 hub has to offer. But before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts when we do upload. Have any questions or concerns about this product, leave a comment, enjoy the video, leave a like, and also show this video out to anybody who may be interested in a USB 3.0 hub. And then lastly, if you guys actually wanna check out this product or get more details about this USB 3.0 hub, Product information, specifications, parameters will be down below in the description for those who are interested in getting more information or for those who are interested in actually purchasing this exact model that we are reviewing today. But right now, what we're gonna do is actually move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. So as you guys can see, the packaging is fairly simple. There's a few specifications and details on the side of the box, which we are gonna take a closer look at with a secondary camera angle. So on the front of the box, or on the top of the box, I should say, it just says Atola, which is obviously the company's name. And then on the back side, we actually have a few specifications and parameters of this, um, you know, portable USB 3.0 hub. You guys can see all the different ports laid out and we have a total of actual eight different ports that come um, embedded into this USB 3.0 hub. So let me actually just proceed with the unboxing of this USB 3.0 hub. We're instantly greeted with all the different accessories that are included with the packaging. So uh, the, like the front of the box, it looks like we get included with a USB 3.0 cable. Then we obviously got our AC or DC cable um, that we need to use to supply PAL to this hub. We also get included with a member card. So this is like if you want your warranty and stuff, I'm gonna put it off to the side. And we also have a quick start guide. So it'll give you a lot more details on how to start up and set up this product. And I think that might be it except for the actual um, USB 3.0 hub. So let me pull it out. It comes in a nice glossy finish. And like I mentioned earlier, we got individual PAL buttons for each individual port. So we have four ports that are USB 3.0, uh, three points that are a USB 2.0, and then we have a smart charging port that we can utilize, you know, use if we need to charge up a device really quickly, such as phones, tablets, or whatever device we may have laying around. And then on the um, bottom or the back side, I should say, we have our DC port and also our, you know, computer plug that we need to use to transfer data and files through. So overall, really nice. They did also include some anti-slip grips. And overall, it's a really shiny finish. You guys can see I'm starting to get some fingerprints on it, but I really like the finish of this portable USB 3.0 hub. And it's really solidly you know, crafted and designed and put together. So it's definitely something that's gonna last for a long time. But let me actually move this box off to the side. And right now, what we're gonna do is actually move over to the testing and demonstration portion of this USB 3.0 hub. So the first thing that I'm actually gonna do is actually supply this USB 3.0 hub with PAL. So what we need to do is take our AC cable that comes included with the packaging, and I'm actually gonna untie it. And now what we need to do is actually take the PAL brick end and plug it into your PAL supply. And I'm gonna plug it into this DC um, port that we have on the side. And you guys can see it's actually, you know, it's lit up and everything. So what I'm gonna do is we need to actually unwrap this cable now. And now we need to plug this end of the cable, this cable, this part right here, plug it into the back of this, just like that. And now, whatever device you're using, you know, if you're using a laptop or computer, um, you'll plug in the other end, which is a USB 3.0 port, or a cable, I should say, into your device. So in my case, we're gonna be plugging into this laptop. Go, I face the laptop onto you guys so you guys can actually see my screen when things actually pop up. 
And I have a few different devices we're gonna be testing out. So you guys can see I have three different hard drives and I have three different USB sticks that we're gonna plug in. And for the quick or the smart charging port, I have my phone that we're gonna to use to see if it charges up my phone. So the first thing I'm gonna actually plug in is gonna be this Western Digital hard drive. I'm gonna plug it into this USB 3.0 port and this should be uh, icon or a photo that pops up. There you go, you guys can see that photo popped up. The next thing I'm gonna plug in is this Toshiba hard drive I have. I'm gonna plug it into another USB 3.0 port. You guys can see it also opened up as well. And now we have, this is like just a hard drive that has a bunch of music. This one might take a while, so um, bear with me when I plug this one in. And it should pop up a window here in a second showing all the contents. And you guys can see it loaded up the window. So it's doing a fantastic job. So the next thing that we're gonna actually plug into this USB 3.0 hub is these three different, you know, flash drives that we have. Let's actually start off with this blue one that's, you know, just a typical standard one. I'm gonna plug it into the USB 2.0 port. I don't even know what's on this flash drive to be honest, but um, let's see. It looks like it's just a bunch of files I have. But you guys can see a window opened up successfully, meaning that it was able to transfer and load up my file. So I'm gonna click out. Next up, we have a Lexar, you know, flash drive. This one we can plug into the USB 3.0 port. And you guys can see it's also flashing, so. And this one too, looks like it's recognized by the laptop. And it should load up here in a second. There we go. Close out of it. And then last but not least, I'm gonna test out another Lexar flash drive, but obviously I have another port opened up if I wanted to plug in another different media source. You guys can see, was that? I think that, wait, that was so quick. Wow, okay, interesting. So that one just really popped open, I guess. I didn't even see how fast that was, um, but that's interesting. And then obviously the last thing I wanna test out is my phone. So let's try, uh, try um, what is it called? The smart charging port. So let me plug this in. Now we're gonna plug in my phone. And I think this smart charging port does not support data transferring, so do keep that in mind if you wanna use it. And it looks like it is charging, but let me turn off my phone so you guys can see the animation. There we go, 68%, it's charging. And yeah, it's doing a fantastic job. It's doing what's intended and what it's specified for. Because do keep in mind, this is only for charging purposes. And now obviously, one more thing that I wanna show you guys before we actually wrap up this test, is turning on and off these different ports. So right now, let's say I want to turn off this port right here. Hold it down, as you can hear, disconnected from my laptop. Let's turn down or turn off one of these flash drives, just like that. You guys can see we have two different ports that are completely off at the moment. And now if I power back on, it should pop up on my laptop here in a second. And let's see. Should pop up here in a second, there we go. And then if I turn on this hard drive that we just turned off, it too was recognized by the laptop and it should pop up here in a second on top of this window that we already have open. So there's a lot of practical uses and you guys can see, yep, there we go. And there's a lot of uses for it, this USB 3.0 hub, especially if you do a lot of data transferring or if you have a lot of devices that you use regularly with you know, your laptop, your desktop setup, this can definitely be beneficial for those who have a lot of those devices that they can easily toggle on and off at any given moment. And right now what we're gonna do is actually move over to the final remarks and reflections and end off this video. So one of my final opinions and remarks about this 8-port USB 3.0 hub from the company at Tola. It's fantastic, especially for those who do a lot of data transferring or do a lot of just, you know, um, a lot of connecting of devices and hard drives, flash drives, micro SD cards, you know, SD cards, you know, if you have a lot of those devices that you utilize on a daily basis that you want to have full control of, you know, toggling on and off before actually having to disconnect it, definitely check out this portable USB 3.0 hub. You know, it's really beneficial. It offers a lot of point, you know, capabilities, and I can definitely plug in a lot of devices with this USB 3.0 hub and have them plugged in all at the same time without having the need to actually disconnect them because of the individual power switches that are included for each individual port. But with that being said, we're all gonna conclude the video right here. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. And if you guys did, make sure you go down below and subscribe, especially if you're brand new to the YouTube channel. You know, if you really did enjoy the video, leave a like, have any questions or concerns, leave a comment. And if you know anybody who may be interested or is needing something like this, definitely show this video out to them so this can give them more insights and details about Atola's, you know, USB 3.0 eight point hub so they can definitely take a look at. Um, business, you know, if you want to contact me or if you're a company wanting to work with me or business increase email, it's creoryt.com. You guys can shoot me a message if you want to potentially work with me or if you need any further assistance, that is the email address you can use to reach out to me. And then lastly, if you guys actually want to check out this product and be more details about it, product information specifications will be down below in the description for those who are interested in all the parameter specifications about this USB 3.0 hub and also the link to purchase if you're interested in buying this exact model that I reviewed today. We're gonna to conclude the video right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. I know I did making it and I'll see you guys all on the next episode. Clearly signing off. Thank you guys all for watching and have a good rest of your day.